kind of. I think we have Tyler coming up, but the, the Shaka does a tremendous job of getting those guys together and putting the right words in. Right. Congratulations, T. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Tyler, we were just talking about it because – He played for Shaka. That's why it went long. Yeah. Shaka <laughs> Smart um, just told us that the scouting's done of, of looking at things Tuesday and Wednesday. You, you already practiced today. But that whenever you know your opponent here tonight of Butler or St. John's, that the players are going to be talking 90% of the time. What's that system like and, and how much – do you appreciate the fact that he lets you guys sort of take ownership of all that? Yeah, before every game, we kind of meet as, as a, a players and uh, go through everybody on the scouting report. And it's, like you said, player-led. And I feel like that's the most powerful, powerful thing in basketball, um, in college sports, actually, is being player-led. And that's something that we really want to preach. And, and me and, and Oso do a great job of kind of spearheading that and, and taking that challenge on. You know, we asked this to uh, Shaka. And... You know, you've never lacked confidence uh, in, in yourself or your teammates. And Shaka referenced your Purdue game early in the year. Was there a certain part of this season to where you felt, you know what, we could, we could win the league and, and we could be ranked with anybody? Yeah, we played, like you said, Purdue, and then we played Baylor early on. Kind of kind of did well against both of them. We we're up 10 against Purdue with five minutes to go. and. I feel like early on in the year, we, we couldn't close out games. We weren't finishing games the way that we needed to. And uh, I feel like once we got that first experience of, of closing out a game and, and really taking hold of a game and, and making it ours, uh, we kind of took that and ran with it and, and used that formula to build on. Uh, I'm a big puzzle piece guy. I sit and I look at a team and I'm like, man, that fits together. Omax can hit shots. Cam Jones can score. Uh, also, he, he can create some things on the perimeter. During the preseason, you said in no uncertain terms that you thought you guys were better than ninth place. What was it coming into this season that gave you that sort of confidence that's obviously panned out exactly like you thought it would? It's just all the work that we put in. Uh, we sure. know each other as players. You know, We're hanging out every day. We're on the floor every day. So we know what we each other's capable of, and, and it just the confidence grows from playing together and, and practicing and just getting better. Tyler, i got to ask you this. And T, you're going to know this as analysts. Now, you've always been known as a gym rat, no matter where you've been. But as analysts, we rarely see someone's shooting percentage numbers jump like that mm -hmm. from deep. Yeah. Besides the obvious of you being a gym rat, was there – where, where does that come from? Was there another dynamic? I mean, coming out of high school, I was mostly known just as a shooter. Um, I wasn't really a point guard per se. Uh, but – it's just, the work, obviously, like you said, the work that I put in and the confidence. I feel like confidence is, is the biggest thing that anybody can have to improve themselves as a player and as a person. Uh, Cam Jones always says, I mean, he's the most confident guy I've ever met. He's never seen a shot that he doesn't like, which I love. <laughs> you know, I tell him to shoot it every single time he touches it. But, uh, you know, just my confidence growing and my coaches and my teammates instilling that confidence in me really, really helped me this year. Great. You, you referenced being a shooter coming out of high school. At your previous spot, you weren't necessarily the playmaker. Shaka put that ball in your hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it completely changed the dynamic of how you play. Mm -hmm. You talked about his shooting percentages. I think in large part it was because you got comfortable having the ball in your hands yeah. that much, and then knocking down shots came with it, yeah. came along with it, because you've always been a good shooter. It's just a matter of getting comfortable within your role. How much do you appreciate that role? Because obviously it's, it's paying off big time. Yeah, I mean, I'm forever grateful for the things that the coaching staff has done for me, Coach Smart has done for me. Um, just from day one, kind of putting the ball in my hands and rolling it out, even last year when I was struggling a little bit. Um, I just had to learn, like you said, learn, learn when to pick my spots, learn when to shoot, because I was making, making all the decisions uh, passing-wise, and, and shooting and scoring was kind of secondary. And, and this year I've kind of found that balance and mix of of sh you know, knowing when to score, knowing when to shoot, knowing you know what the team needs me to do. Mm. Tyler Kolick, what a season. Congratulations on Big East Player of the Year honors. And I know you've already won one regular season title. Marquette's never won a Big East Tournament Championship. Trying like to, to change the first that? again. Can we also make Good note, luck. this is high level. I was like, about to say the future same Future head coach potential. Tremendous, yeah. tremendous yeah. attire. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You high guys, level. You guys look good yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate the it. power we, of J.C. Penny. We, yeah, we, <laughs> we got to get to his tailor. Yep. That's important. Yep. Uh, Tyler, thanks so much. Thank you very much.
Appreciate he is the Big East player of this week. the year. Tyler Kolick joining us as we wrap things up here on our tournament preview show, awards show. 